Welcome back everybody, I'm Anthony from TTG and today we're going to be unboxing Alien Gear's Dynamic Drop Leg Holster. Um, so I usually use True North Concepts uh, style holster system, uh, the plate that they have, um, and I had no issues with it uh, other than the strap. The strap uh, would constantly move, um, but I'm pretty sure I could have found some easier way uh, to fix that. Um, but I wanted something a little different and want something new. Um, so just so happens I went to Alien Gear's website, which uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that they make really uh, fantastic holsters. Um, so that's another holster instead of Safari Land that you guys want to take a look at. Me personally, I use a Safari Land. Um, but that being said, uh, I went to their website and I saw their dynamic holster. Um, and it came with something as they call a tack strap. It's a tourniquet uh, that takes the place of the strap, uh, which I thought was kind of smart, um, especially since uh, the strap rides already kind of in that area where you can need to clamp down uh, that blood flow. Um, as we all know, uh, gunshot wounds, stab wounds, or whatnot, whatever it may be to the leg, uh, you can bleed out pretty, pretty quick. Um, that being said, uh, I ordered one and Finally got here, kind of opened it already. Comes in a basic box uh, with a black bag. Um, like I said, since I have a Safari Land holster and not their holster, uh, I had to order uh, a quick release plate from them. Um, it's one of their their plates that's for the system. Um, wasn't too wasn't too bad to put on. It was actually pretty pretty simple. Just put some Loctite on it and it seated pretty well. Um, the only issue that I had with it, at they gave me screws for it, um, but the screws didn't fit the back of this uh, Safari Land. Um, so I just wound up using the Safari Land uh, screws. Uh, and as you see, it has no issues whatsoever. Um, but yeah, that in the bag is, uh, so what you get is the actual full setup. Um, which I, I didn't know about this holster. I guess this holster has been out. They have another one uh, that also has a swivel. Just this one has the, the tourniquet system, which I'll talk about in a little bit later. Um, but yeah, it's, it clamps to your belt very easily. Um, this piece right here kind of locks this whole system down. Uh, you have to press both of the buttons and then push straight up and you will get uh, this large triangle out of that. Um, as you see right here, if it'll focus, uh, there it goes. It, uh, if the triangle is in, in place, it will not come out. That, that right there locks this whole system down. Um, so once it's fully seated, as you can hear, it's got a really good click to it. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Um, the thing I do like about it is that this movement right here, it rocks with your leg instead of it being just stationary and stiff to where either it's gonna jab you or stab you or something something weird going on. It might break or whatnot, depending on what, what you have. I had no issues with the True North uh, breaking, of course, uh, but I did get stabbed a couple of times uh, in my side. Um, the same pattern uh, is at the bottom of the drop leg. Uh, as you see, it seats down. Uh, sits down in that little groove and you'll hear it lock once again. Um, I thought that was actually pretty cool because now you have basically a two-piece setup because uh, if you want to, uh, you can disengage this piece up here and you can actually uh, put the holster up higher. Um, now coming down to the tourniquet, uh, I thought it was more of a gimmick until I actually I put it on and used it and I was like, holy crap, uh, it, it actually can stop some blood flow. 
Um, it's very tight, very, very tight. I know they said that it doesn't replace an actual tourniquet, uh, but I guess it gives the same pressure amount as your normal Cat6 tourniquets. Um, the way it works is that you, of course, you have your normal buckle um, and it locks up. But once you, or if you need to use it, since it's already so hot and tight, there's this little ratchet part uh, and you just ratchet down and there's a large rubber piece that's inside of it and it cinches down on your leg and it stops that blood flow. Um, I thought that was very ingenious. I thought that was very smart of them to do that because um, if you are using a drop leg, why not just use it as a tourniquet, right? Um, so time will tell if it actually lasts though. Um, I'm gonna try to put it through its, its, its paces um, and try to beat it up a lot. Um, I know they say it's pretty sturdy. I uh, hopefully won't break, but every, I mean, everything breaks. It's at, it's, it's got a stress point, right? Um, but from now on, I'm going to be using, uh, this piece right here, this whole setup on my duty belt, um, to see how it, how it goes. Um, in the bag as well, you also get, um, more adjustment pieces for it as well. So, Right now, I believe I have on the smaller piece um, and it fits me just fine. Uh, and they give you two other pieces. One is pretty long. Uh, if you're like, I don't know who uses that piece, but it's, you have to be pretty long to use that. Um, and then like another mid length version. Uh, they give you a clamp for this, uh, for the strap. That way you can tuck it or you can hide it, just kind of sear it off and clean it up a little bit. Um, and then also they give you two different mounting positions. So on either side, you can rock another tourniquet or OC. I know they had like a picture of some dude running OC on his gun or his gun side or whatnot. Me personally, um, I'm not rocking anything on that side. Uh, I don't want to touch anything unless it's my gun and I want my gun on my gun side. Um, the only thing that I would probably say that's more concerning is how well this will, how, how well will this take a beating? Um, especially if, if you roll on one side, will it pinch you, will it shear? Um, I see it's got some flexibility, which is a good thing. Um, I mean, it is polymer, uh, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll throw some B-roll uh, of me with it, with my duty belt. Uh, that way you guys can see uh, the actual setup and how it actually looks on a person's leg. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I like it so far. Um, we'll see if it lasts though. Hmm. Okay, so this is the Alien Gear uh, dynamic drop leg. Uh, that's on my, it's gonna be on my, my everyday duty belt. Um, as you see, it's it doesn't sit super far away from you. Uh, it's not super close either. Um, I think it's in a good spot. Um, I kind of like it. Um, the old one that I had, the True North Concept, um, this is nothing bad about this one. Uh, sits just sat a little tighter to you, which is no problem. Um, but the issue that I had with this is the strap just kept uh, basically riding and it'll be in a completely different place by the time I'm into my shift or mid shift or whatever, whatever it may be. Um, that was the only issue I had with this, but the QLS system is the Safari Lands. Um, this thing's a tank though. This, as you see, it's, it's pretty scratched up and beat up. Um, but I, I still like it, but I won't be using it for my duty belt um, from, from this time on. Um, but going back to this, um, this system is, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's got some joints to it that move, got some pieces to it that move. Hopefully it don't fail, but we'll see. Um, we'll, we'll beat it up pretty good. Um, that being said, uh, also the firearm, very clear. Uh, the way it works is the same piece is up here. Um, so you just hit these two tabs and you lift straight up. Um, that way it can click into the top part as well. So you see the same triangle, same triangle pattern is still down here. So if you want to, you can have your holster, you can have your, your holster up here uh, instead of down here on the drop leg portion. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. A nice little added bonus. Uh, that they that they gave us um but yeah uh as for the tourniquet uh this thing definitely works um it will cut off circulation 
uh, pretty easily. It's just a quick couple ratchets. Um, as you see, it's already tightening my, uh, my leg. Um, the way it disengages, you just pull on that gray tab and it'll release for you. Um, but yeah, uh, it's super easy, super easy to put together. Um, I like it so far, but like I said, only time will tell. We'll see how it holds up, especially me getting in and out patrol cars or rolling on the ground with somebody or whatever it may be. Um, that might be a concern of mine, especially if I go to roll on my right hand side uh, and this thing kind of does one of those. We'll see if it either A, pinches me or breaks or something like that. That's the only thing that I'm really concerned about right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see. See how it holds up. Um, I think it's the whole system uh, is about 200 bucks. Uh, for the drop leg, it's around 100 bucks. The tourniquet is like $85. And then the piece that goes for uh, their non uh, alien holsters, like Safari Land, the little adapter. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, anything like that, anything you guys want to see, please let me know. Um, thanks for watching, seriously.